welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm with a special guest. The man, mm, the legend, <laughs> <laughs> my personal lawyer. But uh, yeah, so they it's Bernard Mukasa. So Bernard. In the flesh. <laughs> tell us, tell us. Um, so I don't want to before we get into this whole beer talk, just well, it's you know, about beers. This is about money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, but beards and money, you know, when no, you combine it, can, it can also be the beard is the money maker. What is saying? Depends if you're a model <laughs> and actor on that stuff. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bernard, um, yeah. so um, today, just, just a, a little bit of an intro about you. I think just tell the people, like, you know, for me, I know about Bernard, I don't want to just kill him, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to kill him, but I, as you can see. The only thing I can tell you guys is that I don't want him to say he's an Arsenal fan, but... <laughs> I'm an Arsenal fan, unfortunately or fortunately, whichever way you look at it. Anyway, he said the name, Bernard Mukasa, the boring stuff, I'm a lawyer, I'm a partner at Otters Advocates, I'm, an, hmm. I'm, a, I'm a teaching assistant at uh, King Caesar University, I'm an amateur football coach in the <laughs> Smack League and Budo League and other leagues. <laughs> and I've won titles, by the mm, way. Mm, yeah, I've won mm, titles. Mm, mm. And uh, what else? I'm a blogger, I'm a Rotarian with the Rotary Club of Kololo. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Has, a, <laughs> has a game ever broken down this city? And be like, hey, bro, it's, it's, slow down, slow down. Like, <laughs> what are you flattering? No, no, I'm just telling you, how do you get time to do all these things? Like, quick, I'm, is you everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even added that. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a youth coach. I'm a, Jesus I'm a, is love! Let me see what else. I watch KCCA games because when I'm done supporting Arsenal, I'm supporting KCCA. Beyond now, you find time, even church. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and for the occasional drink, water and soda. I'll sip my Coca Cola. <laughs> I'll sip my water. <laughs> and anyway, so your banner is a, a guy who does like so many things. Like you've had, I can't even. How, but how do you find time to do all that stuff and also manage to to do your nine to five? Like, like I feel like you have a lot going on. <laughs> how are you? Uh, the thing. So, so to be honest, I think. The thing about life is that you mm. find time to do all the things you have to do. It just takes you. Mm. I mean, it, it's 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 a delicate balance. Yeah. But you eventually get there. Mm. Man, guys have kids. They have to drop them at school, pick them. They are running three companies. Okay. They are doing what? So those guys have more problems than me. <laughs> so not more problems, more busier schedules. But I think it's just about managing your schedule and fitting in everything you enjoy. It yeah. might not be that you're giving the thing you enjoy as much time as you should, but you give it some time. You make sure, okay, this week I must get in a workout. Mm. This week I must attend Rotary for mm. two hours. Yeah. This week I must go and coach my team for three hours. Mm. And just find a way of trying to fit it in and fit it into you plan per week, per day, per week, per month, then take it from there. Eventually you get a, a balance that works. Okay. You t you're talking about finding the time to do things that yeah. you're passionate about. So there's a time, there's a time <laughs> when I saw you, like I think it was a year ago yeah. when you are it's like you had gone it's like you've gone rogue. Eh? Like, gone all, is it like all, over? Eh? <laughs> I was like, I looked at the guy. The guy had a full head of beards. Like my my, my, my my beard is nothing compared to what this guy had. Like his thing was as And I'm is, like, this is the child of that beard. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked at the guy. I'm like, yo, but so I didn't really get to ask him at that time. So let me ask. So yeah. how how was the perception for you when like? You know, like be, you're a lawyer and you have a full beard. So, how, what gets taking you seriously? Like your clients, when they so, like look at you weird. Like, weird thing about my beard journey, I think uh, it really began in, in in school. I'll take uh, it all the way back to school. Way back. So I'm in S3. Uh -huh. S3, I think, is the time everyone wants a beard. Guys are Man. Kids. We ended up stealing silver nitrate <laughs> and applying 
By the way, I never put silver nitrate on my face. That one is a fact. I'm guilty. I said I will not burn my nice brown face with silver nitrate. Hey, so nice guys face. are doing this okay. silver nitrate thing. But I really didn't feel the need to have a beard. I just said, ah, it will come, it will not. I'd got one thing hanging here. So I'm one of those people actually who never put silver nitrate on my yeah, chin. Let, let me tell you something. Uh, I applied silver nitrate. <laughs> How did that go? It didn't work. It did not work. Yeah, you like, are just burning your face. I don't know why you don't know you are just like, burning your face. I don't know how guys came up with that. Where did it come from? There's a guy I came up from. who put silver nitrate that even had black patches. And I was like, no. So I anyway. Can't like crystals on your face. By the time I finished S3 that time, a full on beard from nowhere. S3. Yeah. You finished S3 and you had the problem. Okay, go into S4. <laughs> okay, not full oh. beard, but like good beard for that time of oh. some bullet or hair. Like, like a thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, the guys, you guys, you guys of silver nitrate, the things you are struggling for. My, me, they came naturally. So best and I was just like, these are good genes. <laughs> genetics, genetics, guys, genetics. So be. This one. This one. So there we are. So then I got a beard. Uh, mm-hmm. When as I grew into HSC, it had yet connected. Of course, I think it only connected. I think when I was just campus so what i used to do my whole my whole look at that mm. time was the oh so i'm praying god let it just connect here let it just connect here you know. you the <laughs> <laughs> so this side i didn't care i just wanted this thing here like this so yeah. i prayed i no, prayed just that one. I, I didn't put any product at that point i was just combing the little i had of course mm. everyone wants to comb their little thing so anyway it connected one day so fast forward after campus um a lawyer i'm practicing mm. all i have is my car all here so every time i go they shape my car all what mm. so come 2017 i'm doing the november thing oh, yeah, so yeah. i say oh this time i'm going to be so serious on the november let me grow and see where it goes because i was not really before then i never really used to do the november thing so 2017 uh november i go for november i said no cutting two weeks in thing is growing I'm like okay this is what i expected yeah, yeah, you're feeling yourself. this is new <laughs> Four weeks in November is ending. It's there. Yeah. So now all of a sudden I don't know what to do with it because it's a whole new look. Everyone yeah. is looking at me like, oh my god. Luckily, every time someone does me, hey, but you guy, I mean my nice suits. What? Mm-hmm. Like, why do you have See, such yeah. a beard? I'm like, November, we're supporting prostate cancer. What? You know, so that kills yeah, yeah, me. It kills, it kills, yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. So December, yeah. uh, time comes. I'm just like, okay, time cut the beard, Christmas look, what? Mm-hmm. Go back to your own. And then I'm like, I don't want to cut it. <laughs> I can't struggle for this thing. I'm here like, I'm on a whole J- yeah. hidden thing, James Harden thing. Mm. So I said, you know what? Let me give it until January because then there, December we break off for work. I'm like, since I'm going to be home, let me just leave it. Mm-hmm. So I leave it until Jan. So now it's grown, it's hard. Then I go to trim it. Then someone tells me, you know what? You now have to apply some product oh, to just keep it soft and so you have make it product. nice. So that's when I said, oh, okay, what products can I look for? Then they started recommending some oils, what? Mm. I don't like too many oils, because then when you're out in the heat, yeah, it's so it's it's out. So anyway, my brother-in-law comes from uh, the US uh, and brings me some Jamaican castor oil. Castor. Yes, mm. we need to live water. I don't think you just use your mururuza <laughs> from waste. <laughs> so anyway, so I start using the castor oil. Yeah. Now what the castor oil does, it mm. just applies so little and then, it's easy, it's and it just... shines and it's so soft hey, and it's easy to comb. That's why that time when I saw you, you can be a shiny for me. It shines from like demons. Yeah. So there started my 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 what my real beard journey 2018. I said I'm not cutting it, I'm just shipping it. So it was thick, what? Now the only thing is that I used to like my hair as well, mm-hmm. but then I couldn't manage both the beard and the hair. It was just yeah, really it's crazy. Yeah. So I switched looks and started cutting bold with my beard. Totally different person. I'll show you a passport photo after this. So anyway, so there, that, that was me then. Oh, so I was Jack. using makeup product from Jamaica. What? So there's a, a beard wash which you use mm-hmm. for when you're bathing. You put it in a wash, and then uh, after you apply the castor oil and shines and then you comb it out no. so the thing about it mm. is people get used to it yeah, in the yeah, beginning yeah. Like, hey, but why do you have a beard why what what eventually get but guys get used to it guys yeah, get used yeah, to yeah, it because yeah, yeah. there's a guy there's a, a former president of the lost side called francis gemara yeah. he just said he just said his thing is instead of wearing ties he's going to wear bow ties mm-hmm. so i'm sure everyone thought oh this guy is weird he wears yeah, suits yeah, and yeah. bow ties yeah why can't he just wear a tie like a normal people but now it's, it's his it's, thing it's, and it's, it's so it's normal. Yeah. And it is we all know his thing is yeah. the bow tie. Yeah, he'll yeah, even yeah, appear yeah. for the Supreme Court and he'll be in his bow tie and that's his look. Mm-hmm. So you make people get used to your look. Ah, don't, don't, don't be discouraged. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, like, um, you know, there's a time when they, 
this very video which is moving around of the South African TikTok about beards and all. I even those that have like the beard that's actually stuck to their face, like like carpet type of vibe. Hi, hello, hello, God's favorite sons. Hello, ovary twerkers. Hello, soul takers. So do you consider yourself to have the ovary twerker? <laughs> Uh, 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 not me. <laughs> not that I'll jump. No, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't I guess so. No. <laughs> but people, I mean, I get so many people reaching out to me, compliments. But even people reaching out to me, what mm. do you do? What do you use? People have been reached when I them, ah, sometimes I use, okay, I use some oil, but it's not really about mm. the oil. Mm. Yeah. So they ask me, what do you do? People come here and they go to my bathroom and check, where are the beard products? I'm like, okay, it's deodorant, lotion. I really don't think those things work in beard. <laughs> but then what yeah. I tell people is, I, for me, the three things that have worked for me, and I don't know if they will work for mm. everyone. Okay. Because, of course, when the beard grows, there'll be patches like this. Yeah. Like now, you see, I've reduced it. No, the reason no, no, I've reduced it is because us and us stressed me, and these two places became desert. <laughs> so, I need to keep trimming down until they start growing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. That, 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 that. So, the three things mm. would be one, mm. um, keep it clean. Yep. Two, comb it. You yeah. must comb the beard regularly. Yeah. Combing, you, you see, people you see this bazongo in movies. Even before she goes to bed, she's combing her hair. What? That yeah. combing is, you don't comb your hair once a day. So mm -hmm. when you just sit there randomly, you start combing out, combing out. It just gets soft and. Do you use a lifter? Yeah, oh, you use a lifter. Oh, okay. Use a lifter. So you use a lifter and then you can use a brush to just now like shape it out and what. So you just get used to combing, combing your beard whenever yeah. you can. So that it stretches it out of the pores and pulls the hairs out. And then it helps you then when you're going to shape it. Exactly. The last thing is just um, uh, every time you have gaps like this, um, what people say, they want, they think you grow the beard at once. No, you don't mm. grow the beard at once. Uh -huh. Actually, the process of growing a beard is you grow to a certain level, mm -hmm. then you cut back to a certain level, then allow now the parts which had been grown to, to grow, grow together again uh, with that level. So it's, and, and, and I think it was my baba at that time called it's, Medi Uto. So basically it's a science thing. It's a science. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. at 0 0.1, but some parts have remained on 0 like this. Mm -hmm. So what you do instead of going to 1 on these parts, mm -hmm. take back these parts to 0, and then, then the allow them to grow with this part. Oh, so I that's see. a bit. Reduce I, a bit, these other parts catch up, let it grow, then mm -hmm. reduce a bit, then let it grow like that. Then eventually it fills out. Oh, uh, three things simple. You know, of course, keep it clean. Really, we don't want to see your brown beard. But I think, <laughs> my, my, you know, my, my dad, my dad has a problem with beards. Yeah. So every time you see me with a full beard, it's like, but doesn't your beard smell for you? I'm like, I shower. I like, I literally shower. I like, why would it smell for me? Like, I was telling guys that day, I'm like, yo, so, oh, Walter, what products do you use? I'm like, soap and water. Because well, I don't. Yeah, it works. But the the oil thing only helps with softening your beard. Mm. Like you want it to be extra soft. Oils. Oils. Just yeah. soften. Yeah, it works. Anyway, so guys, you've had Bernard's story, his journey. That's my story. You didn't try silver natural like some people. But... And the looks accountant. <laughs> looks accountant? Apparently, some, some people called me the looks accountant. Looks That's account. a story for you know, another like, day. He gave us, gave us his CV answer. So, <laughs> looks I forgot that part. Looks like you to work at... Uh, like, damn, bro. Ah, uh, your friendly neighborhood lawyer. <laughs> and that as well. Oh, and do then, I want... <laughs> I'm, I'm stopped. Anyway, guys, it's just, it's just, it's just, now we're just bantering along. Anyway, so, um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you like the content. And, yeah, if you need a lawyer, this is your guy. This is your guy. So, if you need beard advice, this is your guy. <laughs> no, trust me, just use the water. But if you need some advice, we shall we shall send you some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll start a beard blog slowly. But I've taken it back down, as you can see. So we'll just grow it out again. I think I'm gonna have that this November. Watch out for me. Yeah, but guys, yes. but do you know this is the longest man can grow, like up to. Three. You know, corners are supposed to be the longest. <laughs> <I'm bad>. <laughs> <laughs> you guys must be like these guys. Hey, okay, guys, out. <laughs>